Hi there, my name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. My vertically integrated projects team students have been working on a project that I call Retcom 87. This is a retro inspired computer. It's designed around the W65C265 SXB development board by Western Design Center. And in our earlier work, we used the Necken ASM assembler. I then also tried out the CA65 assembler, although I didn't get as far as actually figuring out how to make a proper object file that we could upload to the board. But the last couple of students to have worked on the project seem to have gravitated towards 64 tasks. It includes support for the 65816, the 16-bit extension to the 6502, and that's important. Okay, it looks like the source code for it is primarily hosted on SourceForge. Can I install it on my Mac using Homebrew? Let's try brew install 64 tasks. Oh, look at that. Huh. Let's see if I can run 64 tasks. Ah, okay. Let's say which 64 tasks, figure out where that's installed. Okay, it's installed in opt homebrew bin. Okay, let's test it. This is a fourth interpreter that my student Rohan wrote from scratch in 65816 assembler, which really blew my mind. It actually first will load in this bit of code that's written in fourth. So some of the fourth is written in fourth. So let me download the code. Okay, let's look at the make file. Okie dokie. Let's say make. All right, let's see what that made. What is fourth.lst? Ah, okay, this is something that the assembler spits out when figuring out whatever it's doing. And let's look at fourth.hex. Okay, so that's the typical kind of file format for data that you would upload. I think this is Intel format, I forget. Anyway, why do I have a fourth.1 and a fourth.2? Let me look at the make file again. Oh, so it looks like it compiles fourth.asm. Yeah, I guess it's technically assembling and not compiling, but I use the word compiler anyway, so there. Anyway. Let's see. Ah, so it's then splitting it into two sections. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this SREC cat that the make file used, that's part of this S record package. So it looks like on some previous occasion I had installed that using Homebrew. Let's see, Rohan set up this version so that input comes from a keyboard, a PS2 keyboard, that's hooked to the board. And let's see, I don't actually have my board on me right now. It's at work. So this is about all I can do for now. So that was easy enough to get running on a Mac. Here's a GitHub mirror of the SourceForge repository. Let's see if it says anything about installing this on other platforms. Executables for release versions are not difficult to come by, okay? On Linux, there's a good chance it's already included in the package manager of the distribution. For Windows, it's packaged in MySys2. Wait, no, not MySys, MSys. Haven't heard of that. So here's MSys2. Let's see, if I search for 64 tasks, does that show up? No. Eh, I'm not using Windows, so I'm not gonna worry about this anymore. In any case, it doesn't look like it would be too terrible to try to compile it from source. And it looks like somebody made a VS Code extension for it. Let's check that out. All right, 64 tasks. 64 tasks. Let's see, there's this multi-language syntax extension. Something, something, something. Okay, features include all of this stuff. And there's the 64 TAS one. Which one's better? Let's see, this has a last release date of 2022. This one has a last release date of 2025. It seems to have more stuff in it, maybe? Let's try this one. Do I trust? Sure. 
Oh, yeah. Now I've got some syntax highlighting. Okie dokie.